urgency to help this community, and that the Navy must finally do what Hawaiians have been demanding for decades. Shut down Red Hill. It's not like they don't have the money to do what's urgently needed. Move the fuel tanks, relocate the residents, and pay for remediation, cleanup, and lifetime health care for all potential victims. Right now, the Navy is refusing to do any of that, and they're actually saying they need five months to fix the leak and until 2045 to make it totally safe. No matter what happens with this current contamination, this same thing is guaranteed to happen again and again, as long as this totally pointless, decaying facility remains there. We know from the military's horrific legacy of water contamination, from Camp Lejeune to Coldwater Creek, that the standard response is to cover up their pollution as long as possible. And once people start dying and they can't hide it anymore, deny responsibility and health claims by the people they have poisoned. This has happened to so many communities in the U.S. and around the world living near current and former U.S. bases. We cannot let it happen again at Red Hill. As Lau said, water is life. Water is the most sacred substance on earth that sustains all life. How can we trust a government that intentionally dumps its toxic waste into this precious resource? How can we believe an entity that has done nothing but lie and cover up its criminal actions, proving time and again it values money over human life? You know, it's important to remember that Hawaii was just another colonial military outpost of the empire, which was denied statehood rights until 1959. Today, 22% of Oahu's land is occupied by the U.S. military, with even more land remnants of former military installations. We can see that colonial relationship continue to play out in the Red Hill crisis. Hawaii's own Department of Health, Board of Water Supply, and elected officials are totally at the mercy of the local Navy command. If this is what the military leaders are doing to not only its own citizens, but its own service members, Imagine, just imagine what it's doing to the people who live near U.S. bases abroad, where the military isn't subject to any regulations or EPA oversight. How many more places are being poisoned? How many more Red Hills are there? 